Hello everyone, I am Pinky Baral. In collaboration with WHO, we conducted a study on consumption of injectable antibiotic in a torsion care hospital in Nepal. Uh, overuse of antibiotics in developing countries like Nepal is a major problem, which not only causes adverse side effects and increased cost, but also increases the risk of antimicrobial resistance as a public health threat. So this is a cross-sectional study conducted during the study period of 2017 to 2019, where the routinely collected electronic data were uh, taken, and the consumption was categorized based on WHO anatomical, therapeutic, and chemical classification, and also by aware categories, which includes access, watch, and reserve group of drops, and our steward group of antibiotics. We also calculated total annual patient expenditure on parenteral antibiotics. We found some concerning results in our study. As we can see, there is an increasing consumption of parenteral antibiotics over time, even when adjusting for patient volume as DDT per 100 admission. Another concerning result we found was that uh, antibiotics from watch category were the most consumed throughout the study period. Actually, this watch category contains antibiotics, which have higher potential to develop antimicrobial resistance. Also, there is a slight increase in the consumption of reserve category of drugs, which are often considered as a last resort antibiotics. We also observed two-fold increase on annual patient expenditure on parenteral antibiotics in 2019 compared to 2017. So now let's discuss what implications the findings of this study have and what can be done to address these concerning issues. So these findings uh, in the study can lead to increased antimicrobial resistance, increased patient side effects, limit the treatment options, and increase the cost of healthcare. Hence, it might lead to poor access to healthcare in general population due to cost issues. So I would like to recommend the hospital management committee to implement protocol-based uh, uh, protocol, uh, protocol based antibiotic use uh, guidelines to strengthen laboratory services and to encourage the procurement of safer, cheaper, yet effective antibiotics. However, further studies are needed to uh, understand the drivers of the consumption pattern. So the trends seen in the consumption of parenteral antibiotic point to urgent need to understand and address practices uh, which may be uh, increasing risk for antimicrobial resistance. I'm thankful to World Health Organization, TDR, WHO Country Office, and Partner Academy of Health Sciences for making this possible. If you have any queries on this, I am available at your convenient time. Thank you.